Hey, I'm Dr. Neil Renault, developmental optometrist, and welcome to our optometry chair tour. I wanted to do a video all about how the eye exam works, a little bit more uh, descriptive and the whys behind the tests that we do between when you first sit down in this chair and when you get your prescription at the end. So make sure if you are interested in this video, follow along with us by subscribing, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Here we go. As we get started in an eye exam, after the doctor introduces themselves, learns a little bit more about why you're here and your medical history, and really has a strategic approach to their eye exam, we start with some basic visual function. Can you see with your central vision? Can you see with your peripheral vision? Can your eyes make all the movements that are necessary? Are your eyes straight and aligned? Do you see in 3D and colors? We do that with tons of tools. Lots of light to make sure your pupils and your brain work, and more light to start figuring out what your prescription is. And actually we can use these, these two devices here. I can use lenses and this light to gauge the, the reflection in your eyes coming back at me. So as I put different lenses in front of your eyes, I can see the right response. It tells me, oh, this is gonna be a clear lens. We can try this first to see if you like it into your new glasses or contact lens prescription. All based on the reflection that I see coming back when I shine light in your eyes. Next, we pull this machine out and put it right in front of you. This is called a Feropter. It's like a giant pair of glasses. Every lens choice that I need is within this machine. And we choose different choices together, different lenses to help you find what you see best. So this is a this is a team approach. I am showing you lenses and you are telling me if you like it or not. I am predicting what you may like and I'm showing you similar choices, trying to get closer and closer to our endpoint. But at the end of the day, it's the prescription that I write is the prescription the patient actually asks for because they say they see the best with it. We start with the right eye and then the left eye, then testing both eyes together at the same time. And this machine we can test far away, test your distance prescription, as well as up close if you need a bifocal for reading glasses. We start with determining your uh, prescription, whether you're nearsighted or farsighted, whether your eyes are too long or too short, the shape of your eye changes your prescription, as well as if you have astigmatism, where the front of your eye is not perfectly round, it's, it's irregularly shaped. Then we can figure out zero to 180 degrees, what exactly is the rotation, uh, which degree do you like best and see the best. That is, that's the way we find your prescription for the right right eye, then the left eye, and then make sure it works okay with both eyes. If the two choices that your optometrist shows you are really close to the same, I'm looking for what's better, one, two, or about the same, equally clear or blurry. If they're equal, that is a good thing for me. So I actually like when the patient says that they're equal, they're the same. So a lot of patients get frustrated or confused about that. Why would I, why would I have two choices that are the same? I should be able to see one better than the other. I must be messing something up. No, actually, when you see the same, that is a good thing for me that tells me I've reached my endpoint and we have an accurate prescription. Then a couple limitations about this machine. Sometimes Sometimes people get a prescription that they really like in the exam room and then don't like when they get out in the real world. Some problems here are we can only test one eye at a time. We also have no peripheral vision and no depth perception in this machine. You're looking at a stationary target while seated. You don't get to stand up, you don't get to move around, you, you don't get to look at moving targets. It's very artificial. So I like to take the lenses the patient likes in here, put on a trial pair of glasses, insert the, lens that the lenses that they like the best, and then navigate through my office office, walk around, make sure that they are comfortable with their mobility, they're comfortable with their dynamic motion and, and visual acuity while they are up and moving around. Then I, I'm much more confident that they're going to like and accept this prescription once they get their glasses or contacts. Now that we have your prescription figured out, it's time for eye health. So every comprehensive eye exam must include an eye health assessment in addition to just getting your prescription. So I do that with a slit lamp here. This is basically a large uh, microscope where we can perform biomicroscopy. I look inside these little oculars right here while facing the patient. And just like a, a microscope you use in science class where you see small things much bigger, I can see your eyes, every structure inside your eye is magnified and I can see every little tiny problem. So I can find eye health problems a lot sooner than you may notice them in your vision. If you notice an eye health problem, lots of times that means it's pretty far advanced. I can find issues much sooner than uh, you may notice them in your vision or the way your eyes feel. I start at the front of the eye, I look at the cornea, which is like a windshield over the front of your eyes, the 
sclera and conjunctiva, kind of some necessary structures that uh, help you blink, help keep your eyes stable. Then also look at your iris, your lens, the area of liquid, it's actually almost water that's inside your eyes. Look at all of that area, make sure there's no white blood cells or, or any pigment that shouldn't be there. Then I work my way inside your eyes further backwards, still looking through almost, almost water. Your eye is really transparent, so that's why light can enter and you see everything, nothing is blocked. We finally reach the retina, way in the back of the eyes. That is where light hits the back of your eyes and you receive that information through your rods and cones and help that light travel to your brain to understand what you see. In the front of your eye, we can see problems like dry eyes, keratoconus, uh, you can also see cataracts in the middle of your eyes. Way in the back, the most common eye diseases are like glaucoma, retinal detachment, macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy. All kinds of things can go wrong, and this is a great tool to make sure that your eyes are healthy, and you can walk out the door feeling confident you have healthy eyes that are, that are gonna last your whole life ideally. We need to keep these eyes safe. Most people who have eye diseases, they take for granted a lot of their vision until they lose it. So this is the optometrist's chance to help maintain your vision long term. You also may decide to get your eyes dilated at your eye exam. The purpose of that is when I'm looking at your eyes and I'm looking inside your pupils at your retina through that little hole in your eyes all the way to the back. If I have a big pupil to look through, then I can see more space. I can look around on the sides, I can see up, down, left, right. Without dilation, your pupils are very small and I just have a smaller space to look through. So the bigger the window, the more I can see around. It's, it's often unlikely that there's any issue during a dilated exam, but you never know until you check and you don't wanna be that unlucky person who has something bad growing in their eyes that never really gets checked because we skipped the dilation. If you get your eyes dilated, you may also see your optometrist put this device on, which is another way we can shine more light in your eyes to check and make sure your eyes are healthy. So that is a comprehensive vision exam. Hopefully this is helpful as you, be, as you get your eyes checked. If you can understand how this process works a little bit better, maybe give more reliable answers, knowing more about what the optometrist is looking for. And you can leave the eye exam understanding that, hey, I didn't just get a prescription. I know now also that my eyes function correctly and my eyes are healthy. It's recommended to come every year or two for an eye exam, unless you have an eye health problem that warrants coming sooner, more frequently for your optometrist to keep an eye on your eyes. Stay tuned for an upcoming video where we talk a little bit more about advanced technology. This is kind of just a basic eye exam. We'll talk more about the advanced tools that we use in our vision therapy practice. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more.